Now we will learn about page break settings in Word. And for this particular assignment, we will use page appearance file, which you can download from the link of this video. Now in this document, we have lots of data, like uh, different headings are there, our corporate philosophy, company affiliations, and we have lots of it. Now there are two types of page break. One is automatic and one is manual. Automatic page break simply means that when the page capacity ends, it will automatically switch the, uh, the data to the next page. So it will automatically break the page and shift the data that can't fit in the earlier page to the next page. So this is automatic page break. But if we notice that in the automatic page break, sometimes it happens that it starts the heading and uh, some of the content is there, but portion is shifted to the next page because of the page capacity. It automatically break the page. So in these situations, we will use manual page break so that I can shift of the paragraph in the next page. So for this, I'll use the manual or uh, hard page break that you can see. What I'll do is I'll just click one text above this heading and I'll go to insert and click page break. So you can notice that it shifted all the data to the next page. This is called hard or manual page break. But check where the page break is applied because here I can't see uh, this is a non-printing character basically. So I'll use the same method for it. I'll go to home and enable the non-printing characters. So you can see that the page break is applied here. So if you want to make some changes to it, you have to uh, see the non-printing characters so that you can see uh, where the page breaks are applied. So you can notice that in many of the areas, page break, manual page breaks are applied. Now, if I want to delete any manual page break, what I can do is I'll just select that page break and press backspace and backspace. And then you can turn off the non-printing characters. So this comes on the original point. So in short, if I want to insert page break, go to the text earlier than I want to break and earlier than I want to break and then go to insert and click page break.